now on what some parents are doing in the wake of that shooting in Connecticut. Instead of arming their kids with a gun, some parents are now turning to school supplies to protect them instead. Foreigner Corner's Kelly Stegeman joins us now with details. Patrick, Emily, for years people have been saying backpacks are bad for your health, but if sales were a certain type of backpack or any indicator, people are banking on those bags to save their kids' lives. The armor's just in this back panel here. These are children's backpacks made by the Utah-based company Amendment 2. They're lined with material that can stop handgun rounds. The company makes most of its money off of lightweight ballistic vests for police officers and soldiers. The concept came up as things happened at schools. Children need protection as well. The popularity of children's body armor and backpacks used to be a gun show novelty. Now the company is expanding its sales worldwide. Sales have skyrocketed since the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting with people looking to anything to protect their children. Our armor was being bought to protect people, the preppers is, is their term. And at this point it's transcended to everyone. Anyone who's sending some, the child out into the world seeing what can happen now, they want to protect their children. We took this new fad to Facebook, asking on the Fox 4 Now Facebook page if you would consider something like this for your child. Here's what some of you had to say. Wanda says they have that. Holy moly, yes and yes. Rob asks, so what do you do? Put the kid in the backpack? What if they are getting shot at from behind? Mike isn't ruling anything out. If it will assist in protecting my eight-year-old daughter, then I'm all for it. And Maureen bringing up this point, unfortunately, none of these angels would have benefited from these items as they were in class and their backpacks were stored in their cubbies. I say we place some type of presence in schools to deter the deranged from thinking they will no longer have a path of least resistance. Now, the site for Amendment 2 actually crashed this week from the large volume of people. Rich told me today the company didn't want to be in this position given these circumstances, but they're here to help protect people as they need it. Those backpacks, well, they sell from anywhere from $150 to $300. Kelly Stegeman, Fox 4, in your corner. All right.